welcome to my channel and today I like to show you this gorgeous beautiful doily and this doily it's laying for a long long time being crocheted and the doily is beautiful but what I'm going to do with that it's old timer school so it's old timer people using it and uh, mm, it's not useful anymore so I was thinking because it's laying it's in my stash it's in my studio so I was thinking what I'm going to do with this hmm it's not much you know so um, I don't want to turn it in the crappy things or adding uh, some glue and adding things so first what I did I washed it and I got rid of all the stains it is important that you should use whatever you can use and get rid of all the stains here you see me measuring so I'm not going to tell you the measurements because one of you using centimeters the other one using inches so just watch on the screen don't forget that i fold it onto the doily so the white side you need to calculate by yourself i want to see that those edges of the doily they are the same it is important for me that it shouldn't be stretched on one side and the other side would be unhandable so it will lose the shape it is important that you should take something that have stable stability and it won't move or change the way that it is that you should create and I can have an idea today and I want to use it and I want to create me something gorgeous and beautiful that I can enjoy and it's going to be an outfit so here you go just follow me what I am doing I already in the building process I already cut the pieces and I am already on the constructing process so just follow and see what I'm doing my idea is I'm using the green fabric and I add the white one because of the green I had a little bit but the color is so beautiful and I wanted to preserve the color couldn't find anywhere exact the same so I add white stripes one of you that watching me for a long time you know that I'm greatest upcycler and I like to use reuse and imagine use my imagination to create a lot of outfits so the green one the color green one with the flowers I make it longer bigger with extending with the white color so far so good I like it you don't forget to put me likes too so here I am trying to create a blouse here I took exact the same white fabric that I used for stripes on the green and I create me an applique exact the same fabric I had in my studio and exact the same I'm creating the sleeves and here I want to go and show you how I create the sleeves the sleeve is has curvy side but if you follow you will know that you need to cut and centimeter and a half of the right side of the sleeve and go by the curvy 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 see this is the size that you need to cut from the half of the sleeve this is how you create front and the back of the sleeve don't forget it's so easy peasy to do so it's like a kindergarten and I'm the one that has to go by the pattern here I didn't use the pattern because 
I decided I have a fabric, I did the applique on the sleeves and it's so easy to create two of them, right, left and right, back and the front of the sleeve. So here I share my idea with you how I did the sleeve. Now following me what I am doing. Here it's a little bit tricky because it's two different fabrics and the doily fabric is on the older side so a little bit stretchy, older and we need to don't forget that I can do so. I can connect fa these fabrics like this only this way that you see me now what I'm doing. So the edges of the fabric of the green fabric with the white stripe you go and do serger. If you have open and you don't want it to fray you have to use a serger. Now I need to connect those pieces together. You have to be careful. You have to lay on the table. If you don't have experience do the busting stitch. It means needle and the thread and connect them together not in the air but on the table. Here how it goes my idea how I'm going to use this doily and I'm going to add the doily to the outfit. Use two parallel stitches three three and a half of the wideness of the stitch and remember not two narrow stitches because two narrow stitches will creep the doily and give you waves. Be very patient with that. You don't want to stretch no fabric. So two parallel stitches. Okay and here you go. I give it stability. So instead of three stitches, two on the side and one in the shoulders, back on the back, I give six. Instead of three, six. Two parallel stitches. This is how you preserve the doily the most beautiful way. Now I use a lot of patience. Don't forget the doily has the own character, different fabric, different thread. So patient, patient, patient. You don't want a wave result. So use iron also. Iron your fabric before before you're gonna use the sewing machine and afterwards use the iron again. Now I need to connect those pieces together and now after I connect the doily to my back this is easy peasy work. This work went so smooth you can't imagine. Now my advice to you if you want to do this, this and connect the doily connect the wavy something you know a crocheting um, what to wear I'm gonna wear it the skin color bra you can use it a uh, doily color bra, uh, bra or you can use it it's a light beige or white it don't see through so much and and it's uh, you know mixing up so nicely so nobody will notice. So this accent we need to address. Now I'm going to connect two pieces together back and the front. See me I did the front and front it's ready with the princess seam. Princess seam I use to give my body shape here I did mistakes and you will see me later. I'll show you my mistakes and I have no shame of them. Even that I'm sewing so many years, somehow on the table this blouse look like she's too wide. And I cut of course on the <laughs> sides a fabric and uh, you'll see me later how I'm going to fix this. Here I did the pieces that been left of this fabric. This is the one that go on the applique on the sleeve. Yes, the white fabric. And I try to be, you know, mm, more creative because one of them was narrow, the other one was a little bit wider. But I use, you know, look alike 
don't have to be the same shape but you have to go a little bit by the asymmetrical pieces i create them with narrow uh, zigzag and a wide zigzag and it gives enough stability so here i am going again and i'm telling you <laughs> I made mistake later on and I did get rid of some pieces on the sides because mistakenly I was thinking on the table not on me looks so much wider and um, it cost me <laughs> some centimeters on the on the my size of my body but I did fix it and I will show you later how I address that problem now the timing that you need to do uh, is this is how i work and i give you only advice if you can use it fine if you don't like it you don't have to i do first the shoulder seams and then i connect the sleeve together with one piece it means that i give one stitch to the sleeve and to the sides it means that i don't close the blouse on the on the sides of the blouse and uh, then i adjust the sleeve put it together first i put in the sleeve that i have enough space i open the blouse it gives me enough access to the blouse this is what i do i don't close the size of the garment first i am using the uh, method my method and uh, first i am installing the sleeve see me i'm showing you again on the tip of the half of the sleeve i cut get rid of in centimeter and a half centimeter till centimeter and a half you have to go curvy a little bit you have to go follow from the big one to the smallest one and you will see you will learn in time faster how to create a sleeve here i didn't use pattern it was so pleasure for me to create this blouse you can't imagine here i'm showing you how i'm installing the sleeve you know the front it's the narrow side of the sleeve and the back it's the wider side of the sleeve first i'm going to connect i want to check that all my seams are closed and behind the camera i will see the half of it i just do with the tip of my nail just to see where is the half of the sleeve is because from the shoulder and down we have seams that on the shoulder it means it's half of the sleeve so this is how you connect this is how i am doing it the pin go this way and this what gives me the stability holding i don't need to run from one side to the other to connect then i connect the beginning of the sleeve under the armpit here you go please just follow because first of all it's ones that watch me and you watch me you know i like to cut the corners i don't like to work more than i supposed to i don't like to sweat more than i'm supposed to so i'm cutting the corners it means that i'm working less and having more time for me for me not just sewing it you know i having more time for me so it means that i like to calculate my work this is how i see what i need to gather see this pocket this is where i gonna use the needle and the thread and i'm gonna do the busting stitch i can go on the sewing machine and i can do the busting stitch yes 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 but installing the sleeve you want to see two halves the front and the back half of the sleeve and i want to gather exactly what i need so it means the busting stage it's the one by hand easiest and faster till i'm going to go under the sewing machine till i'm going to put the machine till i'm going to pull the thread i'm already wasted my 
10 minutes. Here I did under one minute. It means that it took me so fast, so easy, and I was much happier because I had faster results. See me how I'm doing the Boston stitch? You don't have to go one by one. You go three, four, five stitches together. This is what it says when you have experience. You know what you're doing and the time it's very important. So here you go. I'm gathering, I'm tying the knot and then I'm releasing the pin and I'm saying hello again in the tip of my nails. I am pushing the fabric and I'm giving the um, I mean a notch without clipping the fabric, you know. And I don't want to use a chalk because the chalk, you know, which chalk I'm going to use, it's going to leave the stain there. I don't want to. It's white. So black, I don't want to use blue, red, yellow. I don't want to use it. So when you are pressing with the nails on the fabric, on the tip of the fabric, it will give you the a little notch you know that you can see through here you go i am done so all i've been left is knotted and this is what i want to show you this is what i'm enjoying you see me after i clipped <laughs> on the sides the fabric and when i was putting on me the blouse it was too tight. It was tight and I need air to breathe. So I did open the seams and I did add the ribbon fabric. One of you that watching me know, those who's watching me knows. Now here I add as on the t-shirt, another fabric to have stability on my back because I'm gonna use the ribbon fabric finishing off the neck it is important that I should have stability it is important so I just cut um, round yes circle circle it fabric and I just cut it and I went to the serger and I cut a little piece here you see me on the side I did add the ribbon fabric because <laughs> the piece that I chipped it off I cut it off, trimmed it off, and I shouldn't. But mistakes been made when we're sewing, and you know it happens. So it's all right to make mistake. When you're not ma making anything and you're scared, you won't make any mistakes. This is uh, the pieces of fabric that I bought in the store of the Joann's and. Uh, uh, I like to buy half or the quarter of the yard and I can use them for my finishing work. I'm buying different colors, so this is how I don't need to buy a yard. I can buy half or quarter and I can use it to, for the projects like that. Now I need to do the finishing touches for this blouse, I need to iron it and I need to wear it and enjoying this. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget that if you gonna give me a heart, I will feel better. So don't forget that my channel is still in the developing stages and I need more audience for my channel. So I hope you like my idea. I hope I give you some of them. Now I'm showing you the bra that I tried on and it, it doesn't see through. It's my skin color. So uh, I didn't see anything through. Here I showed, showing you how I did the 
front uh, neckline. It is important. I just went one on top of the other, and then I give the stitch. It's uh, like a triangle, and uh, it's very easy to work with if you try to be creative. Yes, I give an iron a little bit, and my I am happy because now in the summer this uh, fabric very uh, breathable and I'm enjoying well I hope you can enjoy like me and of course I'll see you next time so long bye bye